In this video, we'll be creating the body tube used for our rocket. As you can see here, I've got the nose cone, and the diameter of the nose cone we did on our original sketch. I'm going to right click on that and choose Edit Sketch. And you can see, recall that our diameter was 0.8750, which is uh, 7 eighths of an inch. Our body tube will need that measurement, so that's why we went and made sure we knew what that was, 0.8750. Seven five zero. I'm gonna close that sketch and no no changes. <coughs> There's our nose cone. Now I'm gonna minimize the nose cone and create a new drawing. File new part. Now we've got a blank graphics area and we're ready to draw our part. Sketch. We've got to pick which plane to work on. I'm gonna work with the top plane. Again, it's very important to select the correct plane that could affect you later on. We're gonna to go to circle. We're using the regular circle. Start at the origin. Come out. One thing that we uh, forgot to do and that you need to be sure that you do is the default is set to um, millimeters. I'm going to change that to inches before we do any dimensioning. So I'm going to go to options, proper document properties, units, inches, and for this length I'm going to definitely change that down to four decimal places. The other ones I'm not as worried about right now. Okay, now it's time to do our dimensioning. Excuse me, I drew a, was drawing another circle. Let me get my smart dimension tool. Come out. The diameter of the circle was 7 eighths of an inch, which is 0 0.8750. Hit enter. Again, this is going to be our body tube. Now we're going to be using the offset entities command. And what that will do, it will replicate the sketch geometry that we have, but it will offset it either out or in. I'm going to choose Offset Entities, select the entities, which is the circle, and you can see it's trying to offset out, which is exactly what we're going to do. Our body tube is going to be 7 eighths of an inch round inside the inside diameter. The outside diameter, we're going to add on an eighth of an inch, 1 divided by 8. You can see here my parameters. I'm going to let that update, uh, 0 0.1250, an eighth of an inch. This would make it go an eighth of an inch in, but we want it to go eighth of an inch out. So be sure that your preview is showing that it's going eighth of an inch out. Check. Okay, that sketch is done. I'm going to exit the sketch, and we're ready to extrude and create the body tube. Features. Extrude. Okay, this body tube is going to be in the blind direction, 11 inches. 11 inches. Hit check. There it is. Okay, now we've got the body tube made. I'm going to go ahead and edit the appearance. Choose that button. Let that load up. And we're going to change uh, a little feature of the color here. I believe the standard is showing first. We're going to actually change it to transparent. And we're going to pick this center yellow button, which makes it kind of a mustardy looking color. We can see what shiny would do if we had made it shiny. That would give it a shine. I know that looks a little bit nicer but we're going to be using transparent and that's going to allow us to actually see through the part so you can actually see inside of it. We'll need that when we do our assembly because as we bring in the nose cone you'll pull it down and you actually see part of the nose cone go inside the, the rocket body tube. Okay, confirm that. There we go. Part's been made. Let's look at it with uh, no edges and also put a little view there. I think that's a trimetric view looks very good let's save be sure that you save yours in the correct location I've got mine in my rocket parts folder and I'm going to be naming this body tube I suggest using the same name for yours be sure you got it uh, where you, you usually save at into a good safe location